Now what am I supposed to do? Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow who spoiled things. Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms, or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. It's certainly an odd yeah, decree Eva, even what's for Black, up, taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells... reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour. But mum's the word. <laughs> okay. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. <laughs> Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. I imagine the bell... <clears throat> okay, uh, bell tower. <clears throat> Revelio. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Want to know something? Sure. Go ahead. Oh, there's a quest going on there. Over here. I'd like to Revelio. Wait, I didn't know you can climb upstairs. Is it upstairs? I finished this early by accident, got to the bells up there, I didn't think much till I talked to her. Oh really? Wait, you finished this before Rebellion. Seriously? Wait, how do you get up there? I've been here before, but I didn't know that you can go upstairs. That's the problem. <laughs> I've been to this room like three times. I didn't know there was a freaking ladder going up. Uh, apparently you can finish this before you even started it. Uh, I didn't know there was a stair, so I... <laughs> oh, no wonder I never got to this before. Hello, more. Jesus Christ, man. So, never mind. Let me finish the quest first, then you tell me exactly how it happened when you start the quest, you know. But I'm pretty sure- I hope there's a different dialogue to this. Shit, my gear slot is full. Uh, I gotta throw away shit. <laughs> That's a lot of robes, man. <laughs> 
Revelio. Mm, excuse me. Wait, there's something here. Ah, found them. I'll have to get those up there somehow. Guardian Leviosa, perhaps. One out, on to go. Okay. Revelio. Where's one more? Oh, there's another chest. Holy shit, there's so much stuff up here. <laughs> Why have I never been here before? I hate this game. <laughs> shit. Too much swag indeed, man. Too much clothes. <laughs> Gotta throw away all these shit, man. I was thinking that there is no way that I could possibly miss, Rebellion. like... Wait, hold on. Can I still open it? Bro. Bro. Oh no. Don't tell me I cannot open it anymore. Rebellion. <gasps> I really can't open it anymore? Rebellion. Bro, what? Okay, before I do that frog thingy, I want to fix the bell first. Akio, Guardian Leviosa. Oh my god, so annoying. Stop. That relic is the key to saving Anne. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcross as soon as you can. Seriously, she couldn't figure this out. Like, it's different size. It's like small to big. Bro. Bro, this is not even tone deaf. This is like... A toddler can figure this out. It's like putting squares into square holes, man. <sighs> is she from Ravenclaw? Because if she is, right, she needs to be banished from Ravenclaw. This is getting ridiculous here. Ooh, what's this? Rebellion. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Consent? Can someone tell me exactly what this? Hey, what? Bro. Someone stole something from my chest. <laughs> All right, gotta go back to that lady. Stolen swag, no shit, man. <laughs> okay, let's see if the interaction is any different from yours, if you can still remember. <clears throat> yes, I do apologize for the sniffing. Still have my flu, but I am getting better, it's just... Yeah. What are you? Are you a Hufflepuff or what? I'm trying to figure out, are you a Slytherin or some shit? Wait. The bells are back Slytherin. up. Slytherin. Oh, you're a credit to the She's school. a Hufflepuff. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. <sighs> I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. You don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. Wait, so what happened for your case? Like after you completed it, what, what did she say? I wonder if it's the same thing though. There's a chest there and there. 
the difference is that you straight up tell her you complete it and it just ends. Oh, sweet. Wow. <gasps> Professor Black. If you hadn't been distracting me. I told you that you wouldn't listen. <laughs> the, the last episode that I just uploaded, uh, I was being Professor Black. It was so cool just rolling around, uh, you know. Oh no, what happened? Okay, first things first, let me go sell my shit because obviously I got to sell stuff already. Running out of space. They should really increase the 40 slot to like 100 slot or something. It's getting now? crazy. It is wonderful to see you back here. We need to have ma mass mass selling, you know, instead of one by one. You gave her the hat. Wait, yes. Did you not? Wait. How does she look like if you don't give her a hat? I give her clothes. Oh, this one is good. Today I'm not trying to do a lot of side quests, but share. you know, I want to... Hello Hedwig. Ooh, nice, we have upgrades. I want to try to do as much quest as possible because I already finished the Merlin trial. Uh, the, I, I'm still missing one uh, broom platform thingy. I cannot find where it is. Oh my god, this is really good. It's really good, nice. Suits my outfit, I look like a raven claw right now. Whoa. Uh, wait, what do you mean where? Where what? I don't want this outfit, obviously. Where's my... There it is. So as you can see, right, I'm missing a landing, oh sorry, I'm missing two landing platform. I don't know. I can't find it, man. I was like flying around. I think I'm, I need to refly again to find it. I honestly don't know how to tell because the map doesn't show you the platform. So you got to find it yourself, you know. Map can tell you. Wait, what? No, they can't. Are you serious? Wait, 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 wait. Map can tell you the landing platform? There's no way. I don't even know how it looks like. Hop right, zoom out. Okay. <laughs> I 
I didn't know you could do this. You know, I was uh, I was thinking, okay, really, really speaking, okay. When I was in Hogwarts map, I was like, oh, cool, we have this legend right here. Then I, I kind of know what to do, right? Then at Hogsmeade, I'm like, oh, yeah, I have this too. Then when I went to the world map, right, I was like so zoomed in. Then I was like thinking, where is the legend? Like, it's something missing here. So I'm thinking, ah, maybe they made it a bit difficult, you know, hard for you to decide where to go. <laughs> I didn't know you could do this. <laughs> Bro. No, what? No, no, no. I she. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, man, for showing me how <laughs> useless I am. In this game! <laughs> ah, there's one missing here! Landing platform? There's one missing here! Holy shit, there's one missing platform here! I... You know what? You know what? Screw this game! I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna find that missing platform first because I cannot. I cannot. Handy resource indeed. Your field guide. Rebellion. All right. My last platform was at Hogsmeade Valley. It took an hour to find it. Really? Okay. Look, there's one right there. I already done that. Okay, this episode wasn't supposed to have any of this. But since we're here, I wonder if it's up there. Rebellion. Have I ever been that high before? Oh no, I cannot. It has to be around here somewhere. Bro, honestly, if you did not have told me about the legend thing, Zooming out, I, for the life of me, would never have guessed, or I have to like basically fly around the map, blind. <gasps> How did I miss this? How did I miss this? No, no, bro, no, 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 obviously no, no. No, just no, okay? No, no, all right? No, obviously, this big place is bigger, so we're gonna try to see if we can find any platform. Oh man, is that more? bad guys in front already? Rebellion. Okay, we're gonna fly up there. You've been great help, Evo. Very great help. They released an update today. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Any significant update I should know. I think I already updated the game. But I don't know exactly what. It was that easy. It was that easy. Do you think they fixed the bug? Where you think they fixed the bug, right? Where I was flying in the cave. You know what I mean? I think they may have already fixed the bug for that. Okay, I don't know how to solve the Hogwarts secrets. 
I already solved the one that is at the bridge with the fire thingy. I didn't know there's two more, but I guess we'll find out. But first things first, let's see if that bug is still there. Am I going to float away in the sky or is it going to be any different this time? It was the one right here. Want a hint? No, 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 bro, you have done way too much for my gameplay. Without you, I'm just useless by myself. <laughs> okay. Is that a dog bomb? Yes, it is. Okay. Game time to break. Okay, let's see if I float. Let's see if I float. Come on, game. Let's see if I float. Let's see if I float. Here we go. <laughs> I, cannot. I cannot. Bro, I cannot finish this game. <laughs> Why? Why is this, this game happening to me? <laughs> the game hasn't fixed this bug yet. How do I report this? Because this is... This is... This is... <laughs> Swimming in the air. <laughs> what a bug, man. <laughs> and only in this cave. Only this particular cave. I don't know why. It's so funny, man. Oh, dear lord. Have mercy, man. Okay. I think one of the quests I should do first is the flying quest because... I think that is the one thing that I need to upgrade my broom thing. But I know I'm very bad at flying, Trouble by the way. Brewing and I'm without my friends. Evo, how is your flying? Like, strictly speaking. How is your flying on the broom? Can I cancel this thing because I don't need it anymore? Revelio. Thanks for clipping things, man. Although you make me look like an idiot. What is this? Uh, these are cats, right? Yep. Hello, cats. Run away, run away, cats. I'm here to terrorize you. Uh, like a terrorist, you know? Okay, let's see how bad my flying is because I think my flying is quite bad. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually, thank you. <laughs> I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. Yeah. Anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to be. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> Get ready to lose, Hufflepuff. All right. I'm a bit afraid because I'm not very confident in my flying skill. What the hell? This is going well. Shit, 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 I'm out of control. That wasn't too difficult. Oh, 
What the hell? There's no way. How did I miss that? This is going well. Shit, I missed uh, this one. I was one second away! I was one second away! Holy crap, that was difficult! Oh my god, that was difficult! Just barely, man! Holy shit! That was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. <sighs> Wait. How was your flying when you tried this the first time? That was crazy, man. I got a dark mask, I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> Do you get your competitiveness from your family? You could say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puddlemere United. And my father, well, he was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me... I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. Addiction. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. <laughs> Don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. Damn, that sounded wrong. <laughs> that sounded wrong. <laughs> pop me and call me a mandrake. I never stop screaming. Oh God, who wrote this? Who wrote this? I swear to God. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here. Fifth year. <laughs> Not bad. For a Hufflepuff. Better than you. You take care of yourself. Nice. We got a trophy. Sweet. Let's see how bad was my this thing. I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. Ooh. How do you get 213? That's crazy. Damn. Bob the wizard. Good job. Rebellio. Alright. It's good to know that I finished this on the first try. You know? Alright, let's. It's crazy difficult in the third track. It is very difficult. I can't believe I solved it in the first try, man. Well done. Okay, let's do this quest here. Because I want to settle all the quests outside of the Hogwarts, you know? Get, get it out of the way first. <coughs> I should probably get some water. Oh, one second. Did you manage to finish flying it on your first try? Wait, 
Return to LB Weeks, why? What quest was that? Oh, I gotta go back to... Ah, oh, right, right, I did first try noise. Well done, man. Why? Well done. I wonder if difficulty has anything to do with it. Like, let's say you set it to um, story mode, right? Does it make any difference, yeah? I ran it again, barely beat the time I, by literally less than one second. Wow. I can't believe I missed two rings. I thought I didn't miss it. It's like so barely, man. Can I get How's an upgrade? my favorite test flyer? Uh-huh, where's my money? Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. What will you do after the final upgrade is complete? I aim to make Spint Witches the most sought after shop in Ogsmead. And I wouldn't mind getting back on a broom myself. Just for the thrill of it. Couldn't be more pleased we made headway with the upgrades. Proved the naysayers wrong. Made all the hard work worth it. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Thanks. Couldn't have done this without you. What are we looking for today? Ooh, nice. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. I'm trying to buy all the broomers. Out of all the broom, you know. Okay, where was I? Alright. What, what what quest is this? Unicorn what? Ooh, that's a unicorn. Alright, don't mind if I do. Oh, the broom to sweep. Mr. Weeks. <laughs> Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Uh, to sweep the floor. Yeah, and mop the floor too. Okay, let's do a unicorn quest, shall we? Is everything alright? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty. Betty Bugbrook. And no. Everything is not all right. It's my dear friend, Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. Her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that. I want to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. How did you become so close with the unicorn? It was luck, truly. I came across her when she was a little golden foal. Didn't even have a horn yet. Foal? Oh, she trusted me straight away. We'd play together for hours. Oh. I do hope she'll be all right. Unicorn hair is a valuable wand core, and I suppose losing a hair or two mightn't hurt her. But I'm terrified those poachers will want her for her blood to keep themselves alive. <gasps> and that is more than I can bear to think of. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Very Irish, huh? Remember, you... Okay, where is it? <laughs> Uh, 
Ah, yes, the unicorn den, which is exactly where I got my first unicorn. I'm trying to see if I can find a shiny unicorn first, you know. But I know only one unicorn spawn per time, so it's not easy to catch a unicorn too. Very difficult. I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. There's only one unicorn spawn per time, right? No, in a meat, he's likely studied. Revelio. So yeah. Come on, Hazel. Is that Hazel? Hazel must be here somewhere. Okay, so there's a <gasps> shiny unicorn. Screw Hazel, man. Screw Hazel. We ain't gonna get no. We ain't gonna get Hazel. Okay, we're gonna get that shiny. We're gonna get that shiny. I don't care, man. I don't care. All right. First things first. I need uh this one. Don't walk away, don't walk away. Don't walk away. Don't walk away. Revelio. Where'd he go? No, don't run away. Don't run away. Don't run away. Hazel will come back, that's for sure. Yes! Yes! Shiny unicorn! I don't care about Hazel. <laughs> Who needs Hazel, right? Okay, fine, but I will have to catch Hazel anyway. The fact that was two unicorn. No, she's safe. You know the fact that's two unicorn that spawned. One is Hazel and one's a shiny man. What are the odds of that? God damn man! If only shiny hunting was this easy in Pokemon, right? Two spawn. God damn. Well done. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I can give you back your Hazel. I don't need Madam it. Bugbrook. I found your unicorn friend, Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she alright? Are you alright? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? Well, fine, and yes for a fee. <laughs> uh, we can keep it, yes. I think I want a fee, obviously. I want money, man. We're both fine, and I can keep her safe, I promise. But I wonder if you can help me with the costs of caring for her. Oh, I'm so relieved. And of course, it's worth almost any amount to Galleons to make sure any my amount, dear huh? girl is cared for. Any amount, huh? Take can... good care of Hazel now. Can the any amount be like a 50,000 or something? How much money did she give? I'm Five truly hundred. awed by what we've accomplished. The final broom upgrade is better Ooh. than even I expected. Stop by Spint Witches when you can. Ooh, it's really ready. That's cool. We swindle an old woman. <laughs> I know. <clears throat> Oops, wrong way. Okay, let's get the final broom upgrade, shall we? Oh, hello again. Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. Hey, As man. always, I have a special prize for you. 
Didn't we already buy this, bro? The UV Weaver? That item is of the highest quality. Wait. I thought I already bought this, bro. Do I need to buy another time? So strange. Whoa, 7.5. I truly enjoyed working with you. Thank you for believing in me. Hooray. I feel like I'm still missing a few more brooms though. Yeah, the guy was trying to sell me the same broom again. Jesus, man. Try the third course again. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll pass on that. <clears throat> oh, the next one is the Phoenix. Okay, wait. Before we do the Phoenix one, I, there's one quest that is here. I've been meaning to try to do it for a long time already. But now we can. It's more animal stuff, you yeah. know. Gotta catch them all. Oh, wait. I should release them into my den right now. Okay, wait, hold on. Before I start, I just want to make sure that I have enough inventory for my animals. Oh man, shiny unicorn. Shiny Thestro as well. Shiny Niffler. Shiny Neasel. Uh, and then these two is like nothing, you know. <laughs> I do have enough space here, so I guess we should be okay. I was just worried that we don't have enough space. <laughs> okay, let me go through here. We'll do unicorn breeding in a minute, you know. The Ashwinders cannot be allowed to run roughshod over what our way of life. Lady. Do you know that you're next to bad guys? Bro, like... This lady was in front of a battle and she didn't even care, man. I accidentally finished this quest. Really? What quest is this? Is everything all right, Madame... Olivier. Madame Olivier. And no, everything is not all right. The vermin known as the Ashwinders have infested nearby Klagmar Castle. Disrupting not only our sense of peace, but our valuable trait. It appeared that they were finally going to slither away until Sylvanas Selwyn arrived. Sylvana Selwyn? Head rat. My guess is that if someone were to take out Selwyn, the rest of the Ashwinders would disperse. But Selwyn is a skilled wizard. <gasps> I certainly can't take care of him myself. Believe me, I wish I could. I think I know. I'm at my wit's end. I think I know who is this. I know. Sylvana Selwyn? I thought Victor Rookwood headed up the Ashwinders. Selwyn's one of Rookwood's lieutenants. Not quite as terrifying as Theophilus Harlow, but a menace nonetheless. I think I know which one is this. There is one place, right, where it's like a fireplace. You step on it and then it goes inside and then you have to do a boss battle. I didn't fight that one. I immediately left because I thought it might be due to something else. I think this is that quest. Where is Clagmar Castle? Clagmar Castle's along the south coast, south and to the west of here. I think I know what we're talking about. What's so dangerous about the Ashwinders? They're not your typical thieves and extortionists. Not that typical thieves and extortionists are lovely company. They would not leave poor Bella Navarro alone. She'd given them everything, but still they kept threatening her. She was ready to go back to her family in Italy. Almost lost her livelihood. They are ruthless. I could take care of Selwyn for you. Goodness, no. I'd never ask a student to confront Selwyn. But I'm offering a nice bounty on his head. Feel free to put the word out. Yep, I'll collect that bounty. Wait. Huh? Wait. Return to... <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 wait. Selwyn has been taken care of. You defeated Selwyn? Merlin's beard. 
A student took down one of Rookwood's top filth. I didn't know. Then I know. suppose this bounty is yours. Well deserved. I, who is solving again? Oh, I need a bigger reward. <laughs> Surely the safety of Cragcroft is worth more. I'd hate for the Ashwinders to know who offered a bounty on Selwyn. What a snide little rat. No sense of honor. You're worse than the Ashwinders. <laughs> Fine. I can give you a bit more, but our business is finished. It's time for Cragcroft to live in peace. Take your money and get out. I may be glad to be rid of Salwyn, but I don't want to see your face around Cragcroft. Only 500 bucks? Come on, lady. You know, you can do better than that. <laughs> oh, wow, that is so funny. But I feel like there's another quest. Like, okay, along this area here, right? I forgot where. Is it here or something? There's a, there's a, there's like a tower, right? That you can go in. And then there's something to, there's someone you can battle. I didn't battle that, so I wonder if I have to do that again later on. You might have killed him while ex I think so. I think so. That is the only reasonable explanation, right? It was the castle south of there. Wait, is it this castle here? Oh, yeah! Wait, this is the castle that has that bells, right? For the treasure thing? If that was the castle, then that's it, you know? I defeated him because I needed to clear it and get the bells. Oh, good lord, they're all connected somehow. Okay, let's do this one then. I think... Oh, I haven't defeated this one yet. Alright. I guess we'll defeat this one now. Rebellion. Wait a minute. Where is everybody? Where is everybody? <gasps> no, it's this one. This is the one I was talking about. This is the one where there's a there's a lady in here. I know there's Inferi in here as well. Like if you go near here, Inferi is gonna spawn. Where's that? Where's that tower? Here, here, here. That's a tower. This one. It will have Rebellion. something to spawn. Like if you go into here. We ha we got a booty, <laughs> bro. Okay, let's see if I should fight this person. I think I can. Let's see what happens here because I I believe I have to fight someone here. Rebellion. <sighs> Yep. Oh Jesus, man. Are you serious? Lord of Manor? What? What the? Revelio. What the heck? Can hear in theory that Dana summoned drawing close has been in order to fight with Green God as a curse breaker. Four time. Wait, what quest is this? Oh, this is the quest. Cursed Tomb Treasure. Oh, that's the quest. Alohomora. Treasure map, obviously. So, flipendo something. 
Okay, sure. Might be interesting to see where this leads. Well, what is this place? Rebellion. Now? Please tell me that something doesn't pop up and try to kill me. Of course. Of course. It only makes sense. Incendio. I wonder why is this place right here? Oh come on, bro! You don't have to do this to me. Who lived here? I wonder. I think I figured out how to Discord on PS5. Wait, I haven't figured it out yet. But do tell if you've already figured it out. Level 3 lock. Level 3 lock, man. Wait, what? Wait, what? We're back here? Why are we back here? That's not why I want it. That's not a platform down there. Wait, 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 something's not right. There's another, there's something else. Go user account link service discord. <laughs> Rebellion. Look, there's something over there. How do I get there? <laughs> Revelio. <laughs> must be a way, right? How do I get there? I started at the house, you started at the statue. Ah. <laughs> oh, okay, that, that makes sense. So I reached the final boss faster. But how? Okay, that, look, that's a... Of course. Accio, incendio, confringo, glaciers, expelliarmus, bombarda, rebellion. So this is where we were. We were literally over here just now. 
All right, good to know. Alohomora. I wonder if that was the quest though. Like, it will be a quest later on to defeat those two. Alright, we are done with this one, but in terms of the treasure chest, let me take a look again. I think they were optional bosses. Oh, okay, let's see here. This one looks like a C, right? So. It's at a tip of something which looks very wrong because this 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 area here looks very wrong looks like a C <laughs> I don't know why this thing looks so wrong <laughs> what is this this is like a what am I looking at man all I know is this section here will have this platform thingy it's a Playboy Max thing. And then you have this, alright. I have to look for this tip first. Alright. Alright, so tip. Where is the tip? Where is the tip? This river, oh wait, is it here? No, it cannot be. Can it be this? No, it cannot be. I think I reckon, where is <laughs> some wizard daughter, <laughs> bro? <laughs> uh, Figure it out. Is it on this side? No. It's usually around the same area that I got the treasure map. So it cannot be that far. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what this part is. <clears throat> this part here. It looks like a water thing, right? This looks like water. Then that means this is water. So there's a tip for the water. And then it goes to the mountains and stuff, right? I assume... What's that picture on its left? Picture on its left, this is like a uh, yeah, the, Mer the Merlin trowel, you know. They asked me to go to this side, so it's near a Merlin trowel. But I already done all the Merlin trowels, so I can't know exactly where to go right now for Merlin trowels, you know. But I'm looking for like this thing. <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> Damn. Okay. I think we'll do this another time. Because that one is not super important, you know. But what's important is we can talk to Deke 
about phoenixes. Jeez, nice. So, yeah, let's go talk to Deke about phoenixes. Some exciting news to share. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. Ooh. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned. The one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well. Which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. All right. Fair enough. I don't need any more mallow sweets, you know. But I am running out of Wigan Whelp soon. Search for the cave. No more weed, yes, exactly. Ooh, there's a cave here. Ninety-five Merlin trials, man. It's crazy. Oh, by the way, have you finished the game already? Like, I'm not saying 100%, but... Okay, maybe 100%. Whoa, what's with all this? Phoenix Rising. Well... A blockade. Look what poachers are already here. Okay. So much for a blockade. About that. I think there's spiders here too. Rebellion. Have I been here before? I have a glitch that's prevent- Oh no! Don't tell me it's the biscuit glitch. Tell me it's not the biscuit glitch. <clears throat> If it's a biscuit glitch, then it's a bit of a... Oops. Revelio. It says that I didn't get all the pages even though I got it already. No! Man, really? That sucks. It's one flying page above the hidden weed place that's a glitch. One flying page above the hidden weed place. Really? Oh shit. Revelio. So that means Could the phoenix be in there? Spiders Could beware. Rebellion. Ah, spiders. Why is Phoenix in the spider lair? Rebellion. Why am I doing in here, man? Spiders. Jesus Christ, man. Of course. Couldn't bring up places for father. Rebellion. Ugh. Shame you're so foul. Well, good to know that I managed to 
get the treasure. <laughs> For you, I, I'm not sure if I would be able to get 100% if I don't manage to get that treasure chest that makes me fly every single time. <laughs> Do you think that it's important? I, I, feel, I hope so. <laughs> if it's important, then I'm kind of screwed, you know? Revelio. That was a easy fight. Confringo! Revelio! I'll check your legs over. Confringo! What's that? Bombarda! Revelio! The beasts around here can sink a bit easier now. Is there a path through there? Oh, there's a path through here. That side. Revelio. Confringo. Oh, good lord. Can we, like, attack them from here? Rebellion. Jesus Christ, man. Good bring them. Rebellion. So apart from that glitch, are you done with the game or are you doing like a second run through or you know Rebellion. I need to do a second run ah okay more poachers how many are there? So many poachers. It's okay. I can handle them. Going the right way? I think so. You see, that's how you're supposed to open a lock. A phoenix. Ooh, nice. Is it shiny though? Hello, Fox. The great 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 grandfather. Seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. I still remember there was one quest. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Don't you just love it when you just drop them?
Alohomora. Revelio. There it is again. Where? I didn't see it. Come back. Does it matter if I drop down? Oh, you can drop down. There is a freaking ladder right there. Don't mind if I do. There's nothing interesting down here. What? Such a waste of time. Just to get leech juices? What the heck? Jump up there? I can jump up there. How do I get there? I wonder. Good freedom. Rebellion. Do I need to jump down from there? Probably. Oh yes, I do. I like how he has a diving animation. That's pretty cool if you ask me. You know? Just for swimming. Revelio. Something in here. There's a leech inside. Alright. Confringo! <laughs> Extreme danger. Shit, spiders, man. Yo, Jace. Hey. Holy shit, a spider there. Hello, Jace. I don't think I've ever seen you in my Hogwarts journey before. Welcome, welcome. Rebellion. Oh Jesus. Ah oh, crap. Rebellion. Cast fiends. Yay. A oh, crap. Incendio. Accio. Confringo. Glaciers. Expelion. Bombarda. Revelio. That's one up there. I'm co coincidentally never free when you stream. <laughs> That's okay, man. Good to know you're here. Stay as long as you need, you know? There's a freaking spider up there. Creeps the shit out of me. I think he's trapped inside somehow. Ok, 
Okay, I'm guessing I have to fight spiders here. Nope. for what you've done to helpless beasts. I'm sorry, why is this face I'm seeing? <laughs> Wait, you don't like my character's uh, face? Let me show you, okay? This is a Niffler's face, okay? And a Niffler hat and some Admiral outfit or something like that. It's awesome, okay? We are a Niffler's. Rebellion. Okay, we are the protector of Niffler's. We love Nifflers. <laughs> I thought you were platypus. I mean, yeah, I mean, aren't platypus Nifflers too, you know? <laughs> well, it's awesome. Incendio. Rebellion. Nice. Large square rugs. I like how there's rugs in this freaking cave, man. Like, what do you find in here? Caves and clothes. Good bring up. Rebellion. Because why not, you know? Wait, did I explore that cave over there? If you don't know, we are trying to save a phoenix right now. Rebellion. That is the quest right now. So we're looking for a phoenix. Like Dumbledore's phoenix, you know? Apparently we're going to poach it because... And then sell it. Here it is. It's not shiny though. We need a Hogwarts Legacy highlights at the end of the series. I will do that. I have uploaded every single stream on my YouTube. I will get all the best bits and then I'll make one video of it because you guys deserve it. It's like Hello. one of the best series ever. I help. I can take you somewhere safe. Can I attack it though? What do you think happens if you attack uh, a phoenix? Like, do you think anything will happen if I just attack it? I think I might lose, right? Never forget, yeeted the cat. Look, you it can. Seems happy to come with me. I wonder if it could travel in the knapsack. What happens if you <laughs> transfigure the phoenix though? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I, I'm so scared. I don't want it to run away, man. Rescue the phoenix. Okay, thank god. Nothing happens. <gasps> nothing happens. I thought you can transfigure it. What if you make it float? Let me nothing happens. If you attack it, nothing happens. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. Rebellion. I thought it would like auto fail the, the quest or some shit. <laughs> Alright. Into the bag you go. Oh wow. Let's get you back to the room. Deep's going to be pleased. Nice. Nice. How come this phoenix can trust me? You know, what if I'm a poacher or like a next level uh, human, tra sorry, animal trafficking, you know? You wouldn't steal a bird. This looks intriguing. <laughs> Alright. Actually, there's a treasure vault down here. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I took out all these poachers already. Problem solved, you know. 
Problem solved. Okay, what is this? Oops. I need to blow wind. Oh, I gotta stop it too. Alright, cool. Keep blowing it, bro. <laughs> oh, it's the chess game! I freaking love the chess game. I didn't know what to do with this at first, but I, I figured it out. I figured it out. It's really cool. You can transfigure this into a... What is this? This is a bishop, right? So you want to take out the king, so you have to place it at a bishop position. One of the best mini game I have ever seen. Super awesome. Look at that. That is so cool. Revelio. Definitely one of the better mini game for the treasure chest. I was so confused when I saw that white lawn chair at the at one of the room. Lawn chair? Wait, there was a lawn chair? Okay, we're going back to Deke. Maybe we can release some of our animals, you know? <clears throat> Ooh, cutscene. Did you find the phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable! Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to... Wait, what? What is- what the hell is that? Ooh, there's another room now! What a beauty! You keep it close. I wonder what's the phoenix feather for, you know? Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the room of requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix rescued. is safe now, because of you. Rescued. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words, and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts, has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. There's something up there. Deke I haven't got over the mask. The <laughs> okay, if you don't, I mean, if you love the mask, obviously, who wouldn't, right? There's actually a lot of selections, all right? So we have, you know, Warrior, uh, Harry Potter, Mrs. Puff or something, I don't know. Uh, Ego Man, you know. Uh, Bob from Accountant. Uh, Luna Lovegood's cousin. You know, Death Eater Bob. Uh, Wolf Bob. This is Average Owl Mass. What? Wait, huh? Wait, 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 where's my owl mask? Bro, what? Hey, wait, 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 where is my owl mask? Bro, where's my owl mask? Oh, shit! If you wear that hat, you cannot see the owl mask. What the hell? So you can wear... <laughs> you can... 
Why? Why can't you wear the owl mask with this hat? It's not blocking its face. So every single hat... Okay, this one obviously can't see it. Bro, something is not right, man. Like... I can wear every single hat. Okay, this is out of the question, right? But I cannot pair it with this hat. Which is my Niffler fur line hat. Niffler fur line hat cannot go with our hat. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, I like the owl hat. I think it's cute. I, I Let's see what goes well with it though. I mean this is cute, right? It's like Russian owl hat, you know? Oh, there's a whole bunch of other outfits too. Like this one, this is like Scarecrow already. This is... this is... <laughs> There's so many outfits man, I freaking love this game because of that. Obviously some of them looks almost the same. Oh, there's a top hat too. It's so cute. But let's go with this one, alright. I think... I think this one is suitable. <laughs> so we're not... Uh, we're not the... Uh, Damn, what's the animal called again? <laughs> Are we down with this one? It's 36 Inferi. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Okay, I want to release all my animals first. Um, I think this is another location to go into. Wow. Holy crap, oh my god, this place is huge! There's a phoenix, we can... Okay, first things first, let's cast some stuff, alright? So, I want to transfigure this and... Okay. So, we gotta get some beast item out. So, breeding pen, obviously. Animals gotta do a business, you know? Have a lot of... <coughs> you know? So let them do their business, obviously. And then beast feeder, they gotta eat after they're done doing it, you know, obviously. And then toys. While they're doing it, they need to have toys, obviously. I see this the Pokemon breeding with better graphic. <laughs> yes. What is this? Outdoor items. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna take some time for one stream just to do all this. I think it would be really cool. Like, can you imagine just setting up this in the middle of... God damn, man, look at that. Yeah, we, we will take some time to do this. This is pretty cool, okay. While they're doing it, they need toys. <laughs> I'm going to let out my unicorn, alright. My shiny... Uh, Niffler, my shiny uh, Nizo, and my shiny uh, Thestro. Wait. Sell beast at Brood. No, what species has already maxed out? That doesn't make sense at all. Okay, you know what? How do I bring this one back? Move to inventory. Professor back. Howen will never believe this. There we go. Does Unicorn and Thestro doesn't like to be together? I don't know. I read it somewhere, you know. Look at this unicorn! It's so pretty! Can any of them do it? Oh. Okay, you know what, unicorn? You are coming back with me because everything's all right. I have to bring you to another place. Okay, I have two unicorn here. How does a limit on how many species you can have in one area? I don't know. Look at how big this place is. Why would there need any kind of uh, limit, right? Okay, I need to brush their hair because they are very, very... Uh... Okay, I need to brush his hair. To brush his hair. Oh, they're eating right now, that's why. Brush his hair. Phoenix feather. Alright, cool, cool, cool. 
All right. Rebellion. Okay. Time to hit back. There's four species limit, but twelve spaces for all of them. I think that's just weird. Okay, I want my shiny uh unicorn to do it. <laughs> that sounded wrong. <laughs> I want my shiny corn to do it because I want them to have lots of shiny babies, you know. Have a lot of shiny babies for me, you guys. And then after that, we're going to sell them. Okay. Uh, there is no unicorn here. Where is all my unicorns? Are they in here? Oh, yes! Okay, so. Unicorn. Ah, it's perfect. You're, uh, you're basically a male, shiny male, so you're going to give me a lot of offspring, okay? You are going to breed a lot of shiny unicorn for me. Alright, go. Alright, look at that. Shiny unicorn babies. I want to see a lot of it, okay? Go do it. <laughs> not looking at you nervously. <laughs> Alright, we have breeding in session. Alright. Every time you go through a gate audio play in my head, oh shit, here we go again. <laughs> I can hear that meme as well. <laughs> History of magic class. Oh wow! This is our first time doing a history of magic. Nice, nice, nice. I never thought of doing history of magic before. Let's see how Professor Beans is. You know? Wait, first things first, let me see all my quests, alright? So we have... Alright, cool. My favourite topic. Let's check it out, alright. It only makes sense to go to history class right now. I keep things clean as possible. Wait, is history your really your favorite topic for real in like real life? All right, here we go. Here we go. In real life, nice. In today's lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effect it had on the wizard milling industry. Throughout the many goblin battles, countless wizard cloaks were lost. Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. Oh my god, I almost fell asleep as well. To the bell tower entrance hall. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. If this was real, my, my real professor, I would fall asleep so quickly, man. <laughs> Rebellion. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? Me? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? 
well and uh, <laughs> welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and of course, goblin rebellions. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Eirgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Why is he talking so much faster than when he was in class, you know? Did you say Bragbor? I know that name. Lord Gok said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Curious students. Can you tell me where I might find Grimbold Weft? Oh yes, Grimbold Weft. Quick with a needle and thread, that one. He's a fascinating artifact of the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. At any rate, he can be found nearby, perched in his case. Alright. <laughs> Listening to him talk, seriously. My god, so sleepy. There's a thing. Oh, wow. Why have I never seen this before? Green Bolt Weft. Oh, cool. Oh, yes. I see you found Green Bolt Weft. Oh, I think this one is particularly for this quest, you know? Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir F. Buddle. F. He's Buddle. also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Oh my god, if this guy talks for the rest of the game, I'm gonna fall asleep Standing so fast. An eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower is a retinue of loyal Abandoning monks. class to wander the halls is in keeping with Professor nonsense. Binz's manner of teaching. Keen-eyed students Why got these history the is, well, a bit different than that of Hogwarts, to say the, the ranks. <laughs> His fame was not Sir Afpaddle was the friendly. This is a centuries-old likeness of Kangadon. Fearless mouse hunter and devoted study companion. People have always loved their pets. Where his warm I find and approachable demeanor was celebrated by old friends and newcomers alike. I encourage everyone to make the waving statues of Quivellio. I like how he keeps talking, you know. Oh, Peeves is here. Oh, shit. shit. Shit, 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 shit. Peeves, he wants to have some fun. In all the centuries that Hogwarts has existed, not once has it collapsed. Oh, oh wait, let me talk to, uh... At least we're out of the classroom. Waving Knight. The Hogwarts found Professor Bins, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. God damn, man. The actor who played this guy nailed it, man. His voice is so sleepy. Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True. 
But imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions to discuss. <laughs> mm. History does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. Hooray! We are done with class. Nice. Rebellion. History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Or at least, I like to say that. Looks like we've all gone on another one of Binz's wild goose chases. How can we do so much? Okay. Uh, Alright, let's see here. <laughs> I was listening. <laughs> Okay, in terms of quest wise, we have Sebastian, we have Grief, oh I think it's in the Shadow of Hope right, this one might be the one, I think it might be Av Av Avada Kedavra already I think. Then Natty quest, okay we can do the spider quest, not now but maybe later today. And then this one is the, yeah. Actually I actually did fall asleep in my chair, what's going on bro? I was about to fall asleep just playing this game. Uh, wait, there's a quest over here. Uh, this one is a natty one. Okay, I am actually quite hungry. And I didn't eat because, well, you know, <clears throat> can't really eat much. So I'm going to go get some food. I will come back streaming again later. Maybe an hour or something like that. I'm going to eat first. I'll see you guys later if you guys can still watch or something like that. See you guys later, man.